Why does he say hey, it's the best Hey, Jimmy from Cuff and Stuff. Well, I promised you that I was going to give you a peek at the project we've had going, uh, Cuff and Stuff Barbecue Shack. So here it is. Just hang tight. Okay, well, this is what we started with. We had a little bit of grading to do. Of course, we had to do all that by hand and set the forms. And this is what it looked like when we first started. Okay, and this is what it looked like once we got the concrete down. This is almost cured by this point we'd already pulled the forms up this is our six by six eight foot rough cut lumber that we used for post for the building so i could go ahead and mount it to the concrete and put the anchors in i went ahead and stained the bottom using redhead concrete anchors and Simpson Strong ties. This is how I mounted the poles. And this is a look with all the poles installed and the building laid out. And here I've got the six by six beams up for the ribbon. And this is everything that I had up so far that I went ahead and just stained man this was the hardest part this was the big beam that we added to the top and i'm telling you what it was a job and this is staining cross braces i stained before i put them up it's just easier to do it on the ground and this is a look with some of them up Okay, we put the uh, rafters up and fit them in place and then brought them down and I had some good help staining the rafters. We stained them on the ground. And um, this is a look of the rafters going back up as we stained them. And here they are, all the rafters stained. In all the rafters in place, we got the fascia added on, and this is what it looked like with all of it stained. And four by eight sheets of sanded plywood that we stained before we put up. And this is a look with some of it up from the underneath side. Uh, this is the decking going on. Uh, we finally got the decking down like we wanted it and on both sides and this is a look from underneath on the stain side then it was time for the shingles to go on so we put the dripper edge around the paper and started going with the shingles and you see <laughs> I had plenty of help there too um, the shingles went up, it went pretty quick. Um, this is one side, and then we started on the other side the next day because we had rain coming. So slowly but surely, we got it covered, and this is a look finished with the ridge vent on. This is underneath, we had started on the back wall and got one side in, and then the other. And this is a look with both sides in and stain. This is the back side. Uh, this is sort of a bird's eye view of going around to the side. Gives you a good look. Light's not that wonderful, but it was uh, 
This is back in the shade. And this is where we are. This is where our videos are going to go out to the world. So as we do the next step or two on it, uh, we'll try to give you a glimpse of it. We appreciate you watching. Until next time, again, thank you and hang tight.